I think good, sane, sober, moral people expect criminals to think like they do, but the truth is they don't. Hi everybody, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host as always, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Mansfield, Louisiana, and I have to warn you, this one's really serious and kind of shocking. We're gonna get a lot of education out of this one, but viewer beware. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. So the guy at the top is our perp and he's feigning like he's checking in. This lady here is, uh, you know, the manager of this, uh, you know, this hotel. And she's like, she's checking him in. Now again, friends, uh, it's not bloody, but man, this is serious. So, you know, last opportunity if you're squeamish. So he points a gun at her here and she's gonna comply with him. Uh, he pulls a gun, announces a robbery, and she's not gonna give him any hard time whatsoever. I want you to pay attention to how compliant she is here as she's gonna go. So he's pointing a gun at, at her and, and hollering at her to give her, you know, give him the money. She pulls the register out. Okay, man, no problem. Let me get it out of here and, and gets the, the coin thing out of there. And okay, here you go, man, take all the money out of there. So he's gonna take all the money out of there. And then he's like, oh, okay, there's some more. Give me the other register as well. So now she's gonna to try to get into the other register in order to get some money out of that one. Now watch him as he's looking around. See him starting to look around, see what's going on, look and see if anybody else is around. And, and friends, straight up, he just decides now to put three rounds in her with absolutely no provocation. She was as compliant as she could be, didn't say anything to him, and he put multiple rounds in her. Now he ran outside and there was a, a, a patron, a customer coming in to the uh, hotel as well. He shot that man six times as well before he ran off. That man is in critical condition. Unfortunately, the woman here did not make it out of this one and uh, she died at the scene. The perp was caught several days later and he's facing uh, murder charges and attempted murder and, and they're gonna bury him under the jail. Man, just terrible outcome here. And before we get to the lessons, I wanna ask you a question. What do you think her best option was here? Knowing the outcome here, what are the better options? What are the better ways to go? I wanna know from you, so leave me a comment before you watch the lessons and then maybe come back and revisit it. So there were some behavioral cues here that she might have seen if she was really clued in as a self-defender. I'm not blaming her in that case. But if you look right here, you can see uh, that, that she is paying attention to her world, but notice that our bad guy, number one, has his hood up. So mask on, okay, fine, pandemic, but you put the hood up indoors as well. Now you're starting to say, okay, wait a minute, is that going all right? Or, or you know, I don't know that you wanna say anything about that, but it's indicative, okay, hood up and mask on. Now we're really thinking about something. And he's also looking around a good bit. And so that, that kind of furtive glance is a behavioral cue that you have a potential problem on your hand. You might have been able to kind of see that in advance and maybe do something. But again, this is a 76 year old woman, everybody. So now he points a gun at her and she finally sees it. So he, he chose to launch his attack and to threaten her with the gun when she was looking down at her computer. Cause he's, like I say, he's feigning. I think that he's checking in or whatever. So uh, again, the bad guy always gets to set the time of the attack. He's only gonna tell you about it at the last moment. And of course this wouldn't be a time to draw a firearm. If she is you know, a, a self defender and has a firearm on her, she can't draw it, and draw it now cause that's drawn from the drop and that would end up poorly. Of course it wouldn't end any more poorly than this one actually came out, but that's an issue for another day. Now she's super compliant and I think compliance can be an effective strategy. But of course it has limits and, and it does not always work. And that being the fact, I would rather have options. And so that's my encouragement to all my viewers is to have those options. But if you're gonna comply, do what she did here and comply fully. Don't get into ego battles with the guy. All right, man, here's what you got, do whatever. Now, if you see here, she does have an opportunity for a counter ambush. When she gives him the money, he starts focusing on the money. She has a chance right there to draw a gun if she's armed herself, but she doesn't take that. She's not, I get it, and, and I'm not blaming her for that. Now then, notice here as well, he's looking away. So here's another opportunity for a counter ambush if she's armed and prepared, that he's doing these furtive glances. Now these furtive glances should tell you uh, that he is looking for uh, witnesses or anything like that. It looks like he's gonna do something worse and that is a terrible time. Uh, to, to sit there and wonder what it's gonna be. But also again, if she has a firearm on her and she's got a, a, a two second draw to first shot, she can smoke this guy right here if she wants to. She's got all day to do so. And so, man, I just can't say enough that, that please take your self-defense into your own hands. Because otherwise, even compliance has incredible limits. Because why would this guy do this? This is the evil that lies in the heart of somebody who's willing to not only threaten to use deadly force against somebody else, but will do so just for the sake of the money in the till. 
Don't expect criminals to have the morals that you do. Don't expect them to operate on the societal norms that you operate on. You have to be prepared for this kind of asocial violence that, that flies in the face of everything that, that good, sane, sober, moral, prudent people stand for. And, and recognize that, that compliance is not going to get you the kind of outcome that you want, certainly in every case and certainly didn't in this one. Lastly, of course, we want to talk about spiritual fitness because this woman didn't go to work this day. She's a beloved member of the community. Uh, if you go read the news stories, I've linked in the description. And she did not go to work this day thinking that it was going to be her last day. And, and so please make sure you've handled all the conflict with your family that you possibly can, that they know that you love them, that you tell them that you love them regularly, and make sure that your relationship with Jesus is strong because on that day you will need it and you may, like this woman, not have any opportunity to get it when the chips are down. So make sure that you have it today so that your spiritual fitness is strong as you seek to cover your asp.